Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today, we're going to talk about cold weather gear for your truck. So it's minus 30 Celsius this morning. Came outside, my truck wouldn't start. So while I'm waiting for the battery to charge up a bit, I thought, ah, this is a good time to talk about what you should have in your truck in the winter, specifically when it gets this cold. Sorry, my lips are starting to freeze. All right, so we're gonna take a look today at what you need for an urban cold weather kit. I live in a big city. A lot of you guys, gals live in big cities as well. What do you need in your car? We had a snowstorm the other day, 13 hour wait for a tow truck. That's a long time to be sitting in your car if it's broken down, if you're waiting for somebody and quite reasonable to suspect if there's that long of a wait for a tow truck, nobody's coming to pick you up anytime soon either. So what do you need to keep yourself alive, comfortable, safe, in that sort of a situation. All of this in the back is what I'm not talking about. These are things you should have in your vehicle, in your car, your truck. Anyways, jumper cables, shovel, some tools, some oil, some washer fluid, a pair of gloves. I also keep a little fire starting kit. That stuff should be in your vehicle all the time, warm or cold. First up, flashlight and a couple batteries. Next up, a couple hot pockets. You can stick them in your boots, in your gloves. That's a comfort item you'll be very glad for if your vehicle's no longer running. Next, I've included a candle. This is a Crisco candle. I've got a half a cup of Crisco. That will burn for a continuous 25 hours. Gives you that extra bit of heat in your vehicle, especially if you're waiting for a long time for either the road to open up or a tow to come and get you. You may not have enough gas to leave your vehicle idling that whole time. This will provide some extra heat. If you got a candle, you better make sure you bring some matches. Next, I've included some trail mix and a protein bar. When it's cold out, you would burn a lot more calories. This is just gonna help keep that blood sugar up. I've included two Mylar blankets. Come back to the reason I've included two. But with these blankets, you need to remember, they don't actually generate heat. You need to get open one of those blankets and get that as tight or as close to your body as you can to help reflect that heat back in. I've also included a half dozen safety pins. That will go along with blanket number two. We'll come back to that at the end. You wanna make sure that you've got a toque or wool cap and some gloves. I've just included these knit gloves. They'll fit inside the work gloves that I already have inside my truck, making the most of what I've already got. Dry pair of socks. You wanna bring either a pair of wool socks or some sort of synthetic. Cotton is not good, especially if your feet are wet or if you're in a wet environment. Last item, a couple plastic grocery bags. If you've been outside, your feet are wet, your socks are wet, your boots are wet, get back in your truck, put your dry socks on, plastic bag on your foot, and then you can put your wet boot back on. No worries. So my plan with this cold weather kit is that it will all fit inside a medium Ziploc bag. I've actually wrapped one with some Gorilla Tape, similar to what I did for my MREs. We'll pack that up and then I'll get back to the second blanket. All right, so I had to make a slight revision. This flashlight, too big. Subbing it for a smaller flashlight still just takes one AAA. Two snacks, now down to one snack. Let's put it all together. There you go, your urban cold weather survival kit. Now as promised, the second Mylar blanket. So your second Mylar blanket, I'm actually showing you this right off the get-go so you can see that they can actually be folded back up to basically their original size. Just fold it out on your dining room table, squeeze the air out, take your time, and you can get it pretty nicely packaged back up. But with this, the whole idea with the second blanket is that you're gonna cut your cabin space in half. I have a quad cab truck. Same thing applies if you have a car. It's, if there's only one or two people, cut that air space in half. Basically, we're gonna take our blanket. Got it all unfolded. I'm going to take one of the edges and put a piece of duct tape all along that edge just to kind of reinforce this. All right, so as you can see, I've got that edge reinforced. This is where your six safety pins come in. Just use this reinforced edge and your safety pins, pin that to your headliner, cutting your cabin space in half. 
your body heat plus the heat of the candle will heat up that smaller area much better. So I just wanted to show you how I did this. I've got my Mylar blanket hung up. If you zoom in up in these top corners, you can just see, basically I've just stuck the safety pins into the headliner. Worked really well. I actually only needed four in my truck, uh, but a half dozen of them will nicely do the trick. I got my Crisco candle lit, got my partition set up, cutting the airspace in half. Just set this in my cup holder. And there is your cold weather survival kit.